can play that new Captain Falcon meta that uh, that's come out of Smash Ultimate. So hopefully, I don't know who they're playing and I think they're playing I th now. But I think Atlas is playing Fox. Uh, oh, very good pick as well. Eight, that's top awesome. Eight at Game Nest and he was playing Fox. So nice. All right. So for anyone not familiar, uh, so we can go over a bit of the rules. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a three stock, best of three until yep. the uh, until the finals, where it is a best of five. Um, you've got three stocks, eight minutes. Couple of starting stages: Kalos Pokemon League, Smashville, Hazards Off, yep. Battlefield, Battlefield Final Destination, and then uh, your counter picks. You've got, you got Castle Siege. Castle Siege. There's WarioWare, which is still legal. WarioWare. That's going to be an interesting one. I was just playing friendlies, and uh, with Incineroar, I actually killed with my back throw at forty percent. Ah, with interesting. No range. No oh range. yeah, that is a very small, uh, small sides on yeah, his blast it's very it's small. A really interesting stage, and I'd be curious to see if anyone's going to pick it today. If we see um, some, if we see some heavy hitters, we could definitely absolutely, see Absolutely, definitely, and we're definitely going to see some heavy hitters here. I do know that we have a couple of DDDs, mm -hmm. uh, definitely a Bowser, um, and a few Donkey Kongs. I have, I don't know if I've seen Skinny yet, but uh, yeah, I saw Skinny earlier. Oh, he's going to play some definitely. amazing Donkey yeah. Kong here. I'm really excited for this yet. tournament. Um, have we seen Foe? Was Foe here yet? Foe is here. Foe is here Foe as is well. Here. Foe I was haven't... the reigning champion of yep. Last Zone. Yep. Uh, Wait, maybe trying to make this a uh, a repeat of last week. I think I think Foe has only lost one game in ah. tournaments since Ultimate really? came out. Yeah, I believe so. Because I know last week he didn't lose a single game here. Didn't lose a single Not game. A single that game. is He's insane. Snoop in winners and grands. Fantastic. Well, let's see. What happens this week? What kind of tournament we're gonna have? Definitely, uh, looks like we're gonna get a Omega Suzaku Castle. What's All your right. favorite? What's your favorite song on Suzaku Castle Street uh, Fighter series? Vega. Vega, Vega stage, stage is awesome. So yeah, it's nice. awesome. I love it. I'm, I'm a fan of Guile as well. That's like a great one too. Guile's fantastic. Those two are definitely the best in the entire stage. All right, so let's see. We've got Fox, Fox from Atlas. And King DDD, DDD from Humunga or Senpai. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but Humunga Dunga. Humunga Dunga. We should love it. make sure that we keep on that. And our first battle here at Blast Zone is underway. Fox versus King DDD. And if you are playing this game and you're, and you're Atlas, what are you trying to do? You're definitely just trying to just invade DDD space right now. He's a big, he's still slow. He's a little bit faster, so like, just like everybody. Yeah. He's still this big sluggish penguin. And, and that's, and that's what you space. can see right now. I mean, um, Atlas racking up a 70%, pretty crisp and clean, um, getting in those aerials and just making DDD. That was a nice reflect, by yeah, the way. Nice. He's got to be, um, he's got to be, he's got to be uh, wary of that though, because that inhale absolutely. from DDD, that'll do some major damage if you're a Flexa Gordo. Absolutely. Well, uh, it looks like Atlas does understand the matchup and knows that he can only go in when DDD has overcommitted to a move that he knows that he can punish. Fox does have some amazing frame data, some really good landing oh. lag. That was an amazing uh, side B there coming out of uh, coming out of Atlas. I didn't know that it would uh, hit the Gordo yeah, back. So and just like that, um, Atlas with a pretty convincing first stock, uh, seventy-six percent. Definitely some room to get some extra credit, oh but with gosh. moves like that, uh, maybe. It's still it's still anyone's game. Remember, we got three Not stocks and just like that, it's over. It's a third, pretty much an even game. And you, can, if you can believe that, I mean, Atlas was felt like he was in control pretty much the entire first stock, Definitely. and they're still pretty much even. Something important to know about DDD is his back air. He doesn't land after a back air. Oh no, he doesn't. So and you need to watch out for them to jump and do another back air, mm -hmm. trying to punish your punish. Absolutely great reflect there again. Nice tomahawk. Oh, he's looking for the roll there. Nice narrow smash. That's 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 still really reliable in this Absolutely, game. Absolutely, yeah. Even without the uncheckable spin, it's still it's still because Nair's lagless. Oh so wow. Smash. 84 to 123. It is still an even game. If DDD gets one good hit oh. with that though, uh Fox, Fox will, will take the uh take the stock against Humunga Dunga. Uh but still, and just like that, it could very well be an even game again with uh, the right placement of a move from Humunga Dunga. I appreciate Humunga Dunga going out there and uh, trying to edge guard that fox. Yeah, oh, risky absolutely. With that side B, but if he would have got that, that definitely would have been. Well, you the know, stock. you, you got to get it. You got to go out there you sometimes. Get it, yeah. yeah. 
I understand. So I appreciate the effort. And with that, that Gordio just obliterates just right Fox. Off the top. That Gordio is so strong. It really is. And just like that, it's an even game. Nair, very uh, good move um, landing as well. Has very little landing lag. You can go into another move afterwards. Um, really like to see more of that coming out of uh, Humunga there. Atlas just isn't giving him the space to do it. Yeah. Atlas is just constantly in his face, and he's not giving him a chance to toss these Gordos. No, which not is really at all. Big. He needs, he's giving him a, a nice balance of aggression, and then he needs to be safe and back off whenever Humunga's throwing out these uh, these back airs. Absolutely. I mean, right now it still is a fairly even game with one or two hits. Uh, it can be, you know, same percentages with... Uh, That's a big boy. Both of those in kill percent. 132 for Humunga. One up smash. There it is. But with that up smash, that will take game one. Um, pretty strong there come from Atlas. A lot of, like knowledge of how the game or of how DDD plays, how Fox plays it against the matchup. Mm. And he was like, he only went in when he knew that he was going to get that hit. But uh, shout outs to Humunga as well. Had some great plays, some great moves as well. Definitely. That was um, yeah. one or two more hits and it would have gone in Humunga's favor. Mm. Those back airs could were really beefy, especially on the sides. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. Without a doubt. If you, I feel like if you would have hit him with a back air at ledge, mm -hmm. uh, he would have died. Like, oh, absolutely. 100%. He was at like 70. And I definitely feel like that would have killed. And we will go to Yoshi's Story, one of the counter picks. I love Yoshi's Story so much. Yoshi's Story is fantastic. I miss Randall. I miss Randall too. I think hazards are off though, so. Hazards are we off. We will not be seeing Randall tonight. Randall will not make an appearance. That's sad. I'm sad. But we're getting straight into game number two, Yoshi's Island. This, this or Yoshi's stage, Story. This stage messes with me because I like to play sword characters. Yeah. And the ledges. You can't really like down tilt with sword characters at that ledge and punish. Oh no, not at all. And it's definitely an interesting stage, and I'm excited to see it back. No, without a doubt, without a doubt, I love them all. Oh, this is gonna be a regrab. Oh, oh, re see how he's gonna punish it. Oh, oh very nice smart. play, jumping above him. Um, Atlas wasn't expecting that oh, and gosh. got that free uh, back on the ledge. But now we're still on that edge guard opportunity. Uh, Humunga finally got back on stage, got that stage control. And now we're seeing an edge guard from. Uh, oh, nice oh, job block. We were seeing an edge guard from Humunga, and now it looks like Atlas is taking back control of it. Nice aerials. Unfortunately, with the Gordo. Right back to the other side of the stage. Absolutely. Right it's off. crazy. The distance and the combo potential that, that Fox has is, is incredible. Oh, and the amazing uh, knowledge going, knowing that he was going to go for that again yeah. and uh, was able to take that first stock pretty convincingly. 66%. Uh, but still anyone's game. That was pretty daring with that up smash. Oh, yeah, on absolutely. Land, on that hard landing of DDD, he, that was, I respect it. I respect it, and he, he definitely uh, was rewarded for his efforts. Oh, without a doubt. These up bears, I, these up bears in ultimate from Fox are still such a threat. Mm -hmm. Such a threat. They're so strong and they're so fast still. And while we were talking about that, Atlas has now completely lapped uh, DDD in percentage. 115%. Yeah, he has. This is back to another... Last hit situation. He's trying to. Ooh, oh, wow. another up smash. Yeah, I did not think that that that, uh, that Atlas got it out in time, but that up smash definitely will take that second stock. 88% still on um, Atlas's first, oh, and an unfortunate no. SD coming out of uh, Humunga there. Really unfortunate. He definitely, but he definitely missed. Uh, he definitely uh, underestimated the amount of lag. At absolutely. The end of that toss. Yeah, but we take those. We take those. We take those. And congratulations to Alice. Good oh, job. That was good, definitely. He kept up the pressure. Absolutely. It was just it was a it was a hard game.